What's going on, MTG community? Happy Sunday. And just like promised, we're going to be cracking open into our second Hour of Devastation bundle right here in front of you guys. Yesterday's uh, bundle was pretty good, actually. Not too bad. We managed to get uh, God, I believe. And I forgot what else at this point already. Um, I have so much in my life going on. can't remember what I'm doing. But let's see. Hopefully, today will be a little bit of a better unboxing here. Hopefully, hoping to get a nickel ballus, even though I already have one from my... FNM booster draft this past week and um, maybe some month will be actually a better pull So what do I think about this set guys? I know I talk a little bit about that every single one of my openings so far and um, You know, I, I, I like it. I guess I like it. I can say I like it for certain things Certain mechanics are cool. Certain abilities are cool um, I think the set is sort of broken little overpowered and underpowered at the same time i mean i have a lot of different opinions guys and of course yours may not be the same and i completely respect that uh but um i think i'm, I'm to the point where i'm saying i'm done with the ammon kit block uh, i'm definitely done with the invocations um that's already like a done deal with me whether we pull some or not that's whatever you know i i have two from ammon kit so if we don't get anything from this side of the block, then we'll be completely okay. I'm not going to cry about it. But uh, yeah, so I'm done with the invocations. Um, the set is cool. I liked, I love the theme. That's uh, something I've always said ever since Ammon K came out. Here's the spin down. Um, but uh, as far as the value is concerned, uh, you guys know I don't really care about value because I don't really do these openings for value. Um, don't sell cards. I just like to keep them and collect them and give them to you guys eventually. So, uh, but those of you who are worried about EV, then you guys are screwed. Um, I mean, some things are starting to climb up in price. And uh, it's happening, like, very quickly, like, almost overnight. Some cards are, are beginning to be okay. And, I, of course, when the card, you know, tournaments come and stuff like that, it, things will definitely probably spike up, I'm assuming. Again, I don't really keep up in prices. But the, um, you know, it's all right. I, I do like it. I, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Still hate these damn cards. I don't like it very much. But uh, there are some cool cards here. Some some good uncommons. Um, even some good commons that are okay. Uh, first uh, card here is an Abandoned uh, Sarcophagus, which is the first rare. Let's take a look real quick at the card here. It's for three. You may cast a non-land -land card with cycling from your graveyard. If that card was cycling, it would be put into the graveyard from anywhere, and it, would, and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. So... Um, I will definitely be uh, going to the next FNM, and I probably will have a better idea then of which cards to go with and stuff like that. Red's definitely strong again, um, so maybe that's something I'm going to stick to playing. Crypto for the Eternals, a Sun Scourge Champion, and Earth Shaker Kenra for two mana. Haste. When the Kenra enters the battlefield, target creature with power less than or equal to the Kenra's power can block this turn. And you can eternalize it for 6, which basically becomes a 4-4 zombie. Yeah, you know, that's not too bad, I guess. Our first foil, it's a um, Deru's Renun... what? Renunciation. There you go. Sometimes it's hard to see the name through the camera here. And a Full Art Island. So, um... There's a lot of things going on with this set, guys. A lot of people are saying that there's a lot of error boxes going around, and I actually could actually tell you that because um, on my FNM this past week, all of us in my table pulled packs with full art lands. And I know you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to have, like, I think every every, every three packs or so, you're supposed to have a full art land. So um, there may be some stuff like that going on. This year of the true... Angel of Condemnation. Of course, I never had an error box in my favor, so I can't really say that. Here's four. Mana for Flying Vigilance, uh, 3 3, and um, there you go, pretty much right there. If you guys want to pause and read the long test, please do so. Tomorrow, I'm expecting the bulk of my orders, which hopefully the post office will feel like delivering to me. And if that's the case, we'll be finally able to open our booster boxes here. River of Hope, or Hope. Liliana's Defeat. Burning Fist Minotaur. 
an hour of eternity. So for two uh, for X, two X, and three blue, exile X target cra uh, creatures cards from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, create a token copy that's a four four zombie. Yikes! Alrighty. Hour of eternity, huh? Maybe one of those cards is going to be going in price for sure. Alrighty, first and common here is Hope Tender. A Bane Whip Punisher. Sand Strangler. <sighs> Split card. Leave two chance. For two, return any number of target permanents you own to your hand, and then you can aftermath it for uh, discard any number of cards, and then draw that many cards. Whatever. Again, I'm not a big fan of the split cards, so don't pay much attention to them. All right, here we go. So, Fervent Paincaster. Angel of the God Pharaoh. Consign to Oblivion. An Hour of Glory. Wow, we're getting back-to-back -back hours. Let's take a look at this one here. For three colors in black, love the artwork. Then we got one of these yesterday too. Exile target creature. If that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from it with the, name, the same name as that creature. So, all right. And a feral prowler. And that's a foil. Alrighty. Let's make sure this is actually properly sitting here. Three more packs after this, guys. And, uh,. Doesn't look like we're getting anything great. All right, here we go. Farm to market, really? This is something? First time I'm seeing this, actually. Quarry beetle. A obelisk spider. That's awesome. Love spiders, so that's, that's really cool to me. And Hazard's Undying Fury for six sorcery. Shuffle your library, then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them with uh, without paying their mana cost. Lands you control done untapped during your next untap step. Okay. Uh, it's uh, probably going to be a playable card. Um, I, yeah, I guess. A little on the pricey side, but I mean, it lets you cast something for five or less, so that's pretty pretty cool. Alrighty, here we go. Merciless Eternal. Desert's Hold. Eternal of Harsh Truths. And a Mythic. Nahib the Eternal, five mana for a legendary creature, and it has a flick, which is really awesome. That's something I try usually to stick around. A 4-6, at the beginning of your post-combat main phase, add a red to your mana pool for each one life your opponent have lost this turn. All right, I can deal with that. Definitely a limited card there. It's going to be pretty good. Let's uh, continue on. At least we got one mythic that's sort of playable, I guess, right? Again, it's too early to tell, guys. Um, it's only it's only been one FNM for me, so hopefully we'll get used to the cards and we'll get a feeling of what's good and what's not in the next couple of weeks. Dunes of the Dead. God, reason to believe. Again, guys, you're going to probably hear me complain about the split cards every single one that we pull because I just don't care about them. Um, but whatever. Let's get going here. Sound like a little girl complaining about everything, right? Quarry Beetle, Crook of Condemnation, Inferno Jet, and last card is a Nimble Obstructionist. Pulled this yesterday too, I believe. For three, it's a Flash Flying Cycling. When you cycled the Nimble, counter target activated or trigger ability you don't control, and it's a 3-1. Okay, so I guess that... I was going to say fat pack. That bundle is not as great as uh, yesterday's, but uh, it's actually not horrible either. We did get some sort of good pulls, I guess. So here we go. A Nimble Obstructionist. Reason to Believe. Naheeb the Eternal. That was the first and only Mythic. Hazard's Undying Fury. Hour of Glory. It's not too bad. Leave the Chance. Whatever. Hour of Eternity. Not too bad. Angel of Condemnation. Okay. And Earthshaker's Kendra. And the last one is an abandoned sarcophagus. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, happy Sunday. If you guys are going out and do some Magic the Gathering playing, good luck. Have fun. And I'll be talking to you soon with more openings. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a like. If you did not, give me a dislike and let me know what it can do better. And subscribe for more, guys. Talk to you later.